God is good and all the time Mungu yumema na kila wakati basi nachukua nafasi hii wakaribisheni nyinyi wote kwa ibada hii takatifu na kwa njia kipekee namkaribisha askofu mstaafu Rodrigo Mehia tumkaribishe kwa makofi tafadhali Tukaribisha baba askofu katika ibada hii ya misa tutakuwa na sakramenti ya kipaimara na baadaye kutakuwa pia na kuanzisha upya jumuiya mpya ambayo leo itapewa pia jina mpya basi karibu, karibuni nyote katika ibada hii ya misa my lord bishop welcome to lead us in this eucharistic celebration In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. My dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have been a sin and I am not a sin. I have been a sin through my fault, through my fault, through my more grievous fault. I am not a sin to the Lord of God. For I am a just and saint. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
of spirit so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ you are son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God, forever and ever.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he had decided to release him. But you denied the Holy, the Holy and Righteous One and asked for a murderer to be granted to you and kill the author of life, whom God raised from the dead, and to this we are witnesses. And now, brethren, I know that you acted in ignorance, as did also your rulers, but what God foretold by the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ should suffer, he thus fulfilled. Repent, therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out. The word of the Lord. E Bwana, tuinulie mwanga wa uso wako. E Bwana, tuinulie mwanga wa uso wako. E Bwana, tuinulie mwanga wa uso wako. E
A reading from the second letter of St. John. My little children, I am writing this to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the expiation for our sins. And not for our sins only but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this time, we may be sure that we know him. If we keep his commandments, he who says, I know him, but disobeys his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him, Truly love for God is perfected. The word of the Lord. Lord Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn with love when you speak to us. It's that time the two disciples told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was known to them in the breaking of the bread. As they were saying this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened 
and suppose that they saw a spirit. And he said to them, Why are you troubled? Why do questionings rise in your hearts? See my hands and my feet, that it is I myself, and on me and see. For a spirit has not flesh and bones, as you see that I have. And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still disbelieved for joy and wondered, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate before them. Then he said to them, These are my words which I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures and said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that repentance and forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Bishop Rodrigo Mejia, Eritus Bishop, I hereby present to you the following candidates that you may confirm them the sacrament of confirmation. They have been prepared and scrutinized, and they are ready to receive this sacrament. From Assumption of Mary Omoja One Mother Church, 284 candidates. I request them to stand. From St. Veronica Outstation, Umoja 2, 109 candidates. From St. Teresa of Calcutta Outstation, 58 candidates. My Lord Bishop, I invite you to talk to these candidates and to talk to us on this great day of both the third Sunday of Easter and the day we have the sacrament of confirmation. Karibu Baba Askofu. Number to Katie. Wa Christu wa penzi tumsifu Yesu Christu. Tumsifu tena. Really, today we can exclaim with the psalm, 
This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad today. It's not every Sunday, not even every year, that we have such a group of Christians for sacrament of confirmation. There is a lot of effort of the catechists, of the confirmants themselves, behind this day. They have been prepared and they are ready to take the responsibility of being full Christians. How is not a graduation day of a university of any school. It's more than that. They will not receive a diploma. They will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. How? Through the symbol of the oil, the olive oil that was consecrated in the Holy Family Basilica on Holy Thursday in the Mass of the Morning by the Archbishop Philip Agnolo. Every year, this ceremony marks a new year in the life of the Church. Through this unction of the Holy Oil, which is a symbol visible, we believe in our faith that there is something more important that is invisible, that we cannot see, and it is to receive the strength, the energy, the fire of the Holy Spirit. Many people sometimes say, maybe not very good Christians or even those who are no religion and even those who do not believe in God, they say, I believe in what I can see. If I cannot see, I cannot believe. In our life, there are many things that we cannot see and we have to believe. At this regard, there is a short story that looks like a joke, but it is a reality once. In a school, <clears throat> there was one teacher that was not a believer, he was not a Christian, and he wanted to push his students to become like him but he knew they were Christians <clears throat> and one day <clears throat> he took the initiative in class to ask them please you said that you believe in God can you please show me where is God in this class can you see God in this class Nobody replied because nobody was seeing God, of course. Can you see God in the streets? Where is he? Can I go and see him? Silence. So, you see, you cannot see. Why do you believe? We only have to believe what we can see. But among the students of that class, there was a boy quite intelligent and he stood up and told the, his companions of the classroom, my dear companions, we know <coughs> that our teacher is very intelligent. We all admit that. We are sure of that. We have seen that he is very intelligent. Please, can we see his intelligence? Nobody 
said yes. So, if you cannot see his intelligence, he is not intelligent. Intelligence, love, friendship, joy, is something invisible to our eyes, but not to our heart. There are things in life that we believe, not because we can see with our eyes, but because we believe with our heart. And the most important of all of them is to believe in the love of God. We cannot see him, we cannot see love, but we feel the love of God in our families, in our life, and in a day, especially like today. What is the Holy Spirit? Sometimes we say it's a mystery. We, we cannot talk about that because we don't know very much about the Holy Spirit. We know about Jesus Christ and God the Father, Creator, etc. But the Holy Spirit is a bit mysterious. Well, very simply, we can say the Holy Spirit is the energy of God, the love of God, love between the Father and the Son produces the love which is the Holy Spirit. This is the energy of God. This is the energy that makes us Christians, courageous Christians. This is the force that made in history so many saints, so many people who died martyrs because of the confession of their faith. But since it is an energy and since it is a force of God, it is invisible. And at this purpose, purpose, we have another story. This time it's a small event of daily life that happened to me. But it's a small detail, a small event, very important that became like a parable for me. I live in a community where all the other priests, myself, they are old people. And one of those old priests wanted to learn how to use the computer. And he came to me for him, for me to teach him. I taught him and I instructed him. And he went away and he started working. But one day he phoned me. And he, on the phone internal of our house, he told me, Bishop, please, I have followed all your instructions to print a document in my computer. I have my printer. But I give the orders, the printer does not obey. The printer does not even start. And I don't know how to solve this problem. Please come and help me in my room. I go, I told him, don't worry, I am coming. I went to his room, I opened the door, and the first thing I did from far was to see whether the computer and the printer, etc., the cables were plugged in the wall. And they were hanging all on the wall. So I tried myself to print the document, and it was true. The printer did not get on. The printer did not respond at all. So I told him, Father, this may be very serious. I can teach you how to manage software, but I, if it is a problem of electronics, 
I cannot, I am not qualified. We have to call for the technician to arrange this problem. So we have to be patient. He accepted. And before I left, just for confirmation, I went close to the wall. And what did I see? I see that according to our system inherited from the British here in Kenya, the electricity system, the plug has three plugs, three legs. And one was almost completely in, the second was half of in, but the third one was almost out. Why? Probably the cleaner with the sweeping, while sweeping the, the, his room, touched the cable. He did not disconnect completely, but he disconnect one of the three legs of the socket. What I did was very simple. I made a punch on the socket and immediately it started printing. And the father was astonished. Oh, Bishop, you are a wizard. <laughs> and I told him, no, Father, I am not a wizard. You were not connected. And since he has tried 20 times to print, the printer started immediately printing 20 times. So, what is the lesson? Sometimes, with God, we think we are connected with Him. Because we pray or we come to Mass. But how long is our connection? Maybe on Monday we disconnect. Maybe on Tuesday we disconnect. To be connected is a necessary thing for us. Jesus himself made this parable, but of course, not using computers, because in his time there had no computers. But there was another thing, another parable, the same. I am the vine, you are the branches. Without me, you can do nothing. If we are not connected to God, we cannot do anything. The Spirit is like the electricity that makes us work. If we disconnect, the bad Spirit will take advantage and we may go astray very easily. That is the importance of what we are going today is to confirm the connection of these 470 Christians to God. To connect them, not just for one day, not just for Sundays, but for life. And if ever, by an accident, we can disconnect, there is the sacrament of reconciliation to reconnect and to continue receiving the energy of God. Without the Holy Spirit, even the church will fail. The church without the Holy Spirit may become just an NGO, a good association, a big cooperative, a multinational of prayer, but without the Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything. That is why Paul the Apostle wrote this sentence that is very clear. Nobody can say Jesus is Lord unless is moved by the Holy Spirit. So, the day we are celebrating today is a day of energy. It's a day of connection, communion with God. We don't use the word connection in the church. We use an equivalent communion because communion is communication like connection is communication with the electricity why is this energy to be used for this energy that we have 
the gospel of today in the last sentence tells us what Jesus wants. Receive the Holy Spirit. You will be witnesses of that. Witnesses that Jesus resurrected from the dead, that Jesus is alive. To be a witness of the risen Christ, we need energy. Energy to overcome being shy, being afraid of others. A witness with the energy of the Holy Spirit is strong. Like Peter, when he was arrested after the resurrection, and they told him, stop preaching, keep quiet, don't mention the name of Jesus any longer. And he replied with great courage in front of all the great persons of the Sanhedrin, of the judgment of, of, the, of the Jews, he said that, he told them, it's up to you to judge whether we have to obey you rather than to obey God. As for us, we cannot keep quiet about what we have seen and we have heard. That is to be a witness. But some one of you, especially the young ones, the children ones that are going to be confirmed, may ask me, but how can we be witness, witnesses of Christ? We are not priests. We are not sisters. We are not brothers. We are just students in a school. I am in primary. I am in secondary school. How can I be witness? I don't know theology. I have not studied that. Don't worry. It's not by preaching only that you are a witness. It's by living. It's your life. If you are behavior, if you are social relation, if you are respect of the others, if you are a spirit of service, of companionship, of respect of fraternity, when you forgive another, you are a witness of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, we cannot even forgive. We keep grudge. And that is the difficulty of forgiving. So you are witnesses of Christ 24 hours a day, wherever you are, at home, in the family, in the school, or in the place of work, where you start working for those who are more adults. This is our vocation as Christians. The church cannot count only on the witnesses of the bishops, the priests, and the religious men and women alone. Impossible. You have to behave in such a way, you are example of life, in such a way that those who see you may say, this is a Christian. He is really a believer. He is a, a disciple of Christ. For that, you need the strength of the Holy Spirit. The sacrament of confirmation is the last sacrament in a process of initiation to our Christianity. It starts with baptism, then there are other, the other sacraments, the sacrament of reconciliation, that is the sacrament of the Eucharist, the reception of the body and blood of Christ, we cannot imagine better connection with God than the Eucharist. When we receive the Eucharist, really we are connected, communicating with God. And finally, this is the sacrament of confirmation. This means after this sacrament, the church does not consider you long any longer as children, but as disciples of Christ. You are no longer babies for the church. You are apostles for the church. You are sent where you live to be witness of your faith. You have to defend not the church but your own faith. 
And that is why this sacrament of confirmation is sending you, all of you as missionaries, no need to go to another country, no need to go very far. The mission is not to go to another country. The mission is to go out of yourself, to leave your own egoism, to leave your own interest, to have a spirit of service. And that is why your mission will start today. This is the main consequence of this sacrament of confirmation. May the Holy Spirit, the strength of the Holy Spirit, come within you today so that each one of you may become a disciple, an apostle, and a missionary of Christ. For that, we pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. And now, we are going to proceed with the rite of the confirmation, and we start with the renewal of the promises of baptism that we will do all together with those who are going to be confirmed. That is why we will not recite today the creed, the creed as in any ordinary Sunday. The creed, the confession of faith takes the place of the creed. My dear Christians to be confirmed, do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary? was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. <clears throat> Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who came upon the apostles at Pentecost, and today is given to you sacramentally in confirmation? Do you believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. So sasa ili tuendelee na sacrament ya kipaimara naomba sisi wengine wote tuketi wale ambao watapokea hii sacrament wabaki wamesimama start here but My dear friends, in baptism, God our Father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters. Let us pray to our Father 
that he will put out the Holy Spirit to strengthen his sons and daughters with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Now I will anoint each one of them on the forefront. And I say, be seen with the gift of the Holy Spirit. They respond, Amen. Don't forget. After I say that, each one responds, Amen. I say, Peace be with you. And they say, And also with your spirit. Receive the gift of the, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Diamond, you woman. Receive the gift, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. John. Receive the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. James, receive the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Leticia, receive the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
Tuwapigie makofi hawa ambao wamepokea sakramenti ya Kaimara. Naomba sasa tusimame kwa sala ya umini. Mwanzo askofu wataombea hawa ambao tayari wamepokea sakramenti ya Kaimara. Wale ambao wametayarishwa au wamejitarisha kuomba pajongee hapo mbele. My dear friends, let us be one in prayer to God our Father, as we are one in the faith, hope, and love His Spirit gives. For that, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For these sons and daughters of God, confirmed by the gift of the Holy Spirit that they give witness to Christ by lives built on faith and love. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. For their parents and godparents who led them in faith that by word and example they may always encourage them to follow the way of Christ. For this we pray to the Lord. For the Holy Church of God, in union with Francis our Pope, Philip our Bishop, and all the bishops, that God who gathers us together by the Holy Spirit, may he help us grow in unity of faith and love until his Son returns in glory. For this we pray to the Lord. For all men of every race and nation, that they may acknowledge the one God as Father, and in the bond of common brotherhood seek his kingdom, which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. For this we pray to the Lord.
God Almighty, we pray for all the church leaders that they may guide and direct your people in the right direction. We pray that the Holy Spirit will inspire many young men and women to the vineyard of the Lord. Lord, hear us. Prayer for the country. God, our Heavenly Father, giver of life, we entrust our country, Kenya, to your loving care. You alone is the true sole source of our rights to life. We pray for our safety on the roads and all those areas that have been affected by the heavy rains, that you may give us what is enough to sustain our needs. Bless our government that they may come to an agreement with our doctors so that health services may be restored. God graciously hear us. Abba Father, we pray for the jobless, homeless, and those who are hungry, that you may meet them at their point of need. God hear us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the people of Moja and the county of Nairobi. We pray that may, that may live in peace and harmony. Lord, hear us. God, our Father, you sent your Holy Spirit upon the apostles, and through them and their successors, you give the Spirit to your people. May his work begun at Pentecost continue to grow in the hearts of all who believe. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Naomba tuketi ni wakati wa sadaka tutaongozwa na CMA jinsi na mahali ambapo tutatoa sadaka yetu.
Oh, God. 
Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such great joy, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to praise you and yet make more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceased to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At, at the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Philip, our Archbishop, Auxiliary Bishops, David, Wallace, Simon, Peter, and Bishop Rodrigo here present, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver our Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Prayer after communion. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me not be separated from thee. From the wicked poor defend me, at the hour of my death call me, and bid me come to thee, that with thy sins I may praise thee, forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of Assumption, Immaculate Virgin, Mother of Jesus and our Mother, we believe in your tributant Assumption into heaven where the angels and saints acclaim you as queen. We join them in praising you and bless the Lord who raised you above all creatures. With them we offer you our devotion and love. We are confident that you watch over our daily efforts and needs, and we take comfort from the faith in coming resurrection. We look to you, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. After this earthly life, show us, Jesus, the blessed fruit of your womb. O kind, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Naomba Tuketi. Na sasa nawalika Fathers Jumuiya waje hapa mbele. Fathers Jumuiya waje hapa mbele. We are going to have now the blessing of the new small Christian community and at the same time the naming of this new small Christian community. So I invite the bishop to please come forward and uh, preside over this short ceremony. My dear brothers and sisters, I congratulate you on choosing to journey with each other as you seek to learn from the scriptures and grow in your relationship with God. Please show your commitment to this pilgrimage of faith by answering, I will to the following questions. Jesus said that whenever two or more are gathered in his name, he is there with us. Will you open yourselves to receive the love of God from the other members of your small Christian community? Jesus told his disciples to love one another the way he has loved us. 
will you give God's love to one another by caring about each other, serving each other, and listening to each other? Amen. Jesus prayed for his disciples to be united as one, just as he and the Father are one, so that the world may be converted by this love. Will you make every effort to journey together in unity with your small Christian community, with the Assumption of Mary, Umoja One Parish, and with the Universal Catholic Church? Let us pray. Lord of unity and love, bless the members of our small Christian communities. Through your Holy Spirit, teach them, guide them, and help them to grow in relationship with each other and in relationship with you. Bring in new members to increase the number of communities we have. Empower them all to reveal your love in such a way that others are evangelized by the unity and service they see. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And now the bishop will bless the instruments of prayer and of worship that they hold. The items that we use for our Jumuiya meetings and masses, the crucifix, the candles, the altar linen, the Bible, and even the hymn book, and even the bag for carrying all of them, and the rosary have been blessed for this small Christian community. Now we're going to have a special prayer for their Bibles and other items. Tuombe. Mungu mwenye huruma awauhishe na kuwaimarisha kwa baraka zake na roho ya kujitoa na upendo mioyoni mwenu ili mtembeki bila hila katika maisha haya ya sasa na kwa furaha kufikia uzima wa milele. Na iwabarikiwe Mungu Mwenyezi Baba na roho mtakatifu I pronounce you Christ the King small Christian community of Assumption of Mary Umoja One Parish Abigail Makofi So we are very happy to have one more small Christian community in our parish, bringing our small Christian communities from 87 to 88. To begin, Makofi Tafadali. And now that they have been blessed by the bishop, including their items for prayer and worship, they may go back to their seats. Why, chorus? We can take our seats, the new Jumuya of Christ the King. There's no more Father's Jumuya here. Now it is Christ the King, small Christian community.
jumuiya ya Kristu mfalme the new fathers jumuiya will be started in september 2024 for all those who have not joined any small christian community i invite our moderator to continue with the rest of the program God is good and all the time today being our second sunday the tithe sunday those who have prepared kindly come forward na tuangalie masaa tafadhali kindly bring your envelopes and those with tetra packs kindly please also bring them cjpd kindly bring your bag so that we may put the tetra packs karibuni after that we will have the thanksgiving envelopes from the candidates they will bring also in front here kindly kindly those with the type and tetra packs kujeni mbele tafadhali We shall have the blessing of the tithe and the blessing of the tetra packs together. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, giver of life, you are lavish in bestowing all gifts. We humbly give you thanks for the favors you have given to us. Father most generous in Christ Jesus your son, you manifested your immeasurable love and generosity to humanity. In your son you have given us everything that we need, grant that we may never fail to sing your praises. We appreciate all the benefits we have received from you. Our only God, we humbly present to you a tenth of what you have given to us. Humbly accept it as a sign of our appreciation for the love and care you have shown us. Heavenly Father, as you bless this offering, bless us, bless our families, bless the work of our hands that we may always have enough to cater for our needs, to assist the less privileged and to support your holy church in your goodness you have favored us and kept us safe in the past we ask that you may continue to protect us and to shelter us in the shadow of your wings may almighty god bless and protect you the father the son and the holy spirit amen
Now the candidates kindly come forward with your thanksgiving envelopes. Owners of vehicle KCH 033K KDL 286P Tafadhali mwefunga entrance ya Umoja Primary Kindly go and open or remove your vehicles KCH 033K KDL 286P Tafadhali mwefungulie Umoja Primary Kikumula gate yao Let us listen to today's announcements being the third Sunday of Easter. Out there, we have people selling this magazine, detailing the lives of the new ordained Rev Right Reverend Wallace Nanga and Right Reverend Simon Peter Kamamoy. Kindly go get yourself a copy to know their life history. Marriage bans for the second time between Martin Maundu and Florence Ndenya. For the third time between Stanislaus Karioki Kinuga and Rachel Wairimo Kimaru. Between Kenneth Mutweri Karemi and Mary Ann Wamboi Karioki. 
There will be mass for St. Elizabeth prayer group today at St. Veronica Church at 2 p.m. Small Christian Community Weekly Masses, Wednesday, 17th April 2024, St. Jerome at 6 p.m. Thursday, 18th April 2024, Our Lady of Mount Carmel at 6 p.m. Friday, 19th April 2024, St. Joseph Mukasa at 6 p.m. The following small Christian communities will serve Mass on Sunday, 21st April 2024. The first Mass will be St. Achileo Kiwanuka. The second Mass, St. Gertrude the Great. Third mass. Third mass. Third mass. SMS communication. There will be only two masses next Sunday because of the guests of Father who will be coming. So first mass, St. Achileo Kiwanuka, Inako. Second mass, St. Getru the Great Church, Jumuia. Our Harambe will be on the Sunday 21st, 2024. All small Christian communities are requested to contribute generously as requested by Father. And the DC team will be selling handkerchiefs during that day. Easter due envelopes will be returned and blessed on 28th April 2024. Infant baptism for Moja 1 will be on Sunday 11, April, Saturday 11 April 2024. Parents to collect baptism forms from the catechist's office and come with introduction letters from your Jumuiya leaders on Wednesday, 17th, April 2024. St. Austin are selling a magazine, and the magazine is Living with Christ. Special announcements. We shall have a Dinari Parish pilgrimage to Museve Shrine in Kitui on the 22nd, June 2024. Charges are 2,000 for transport only. Registration is ongoing at the parish office on a first-come, first-served basis. Kindly those who want to go for the shrine pilgrimage, we are planning the registration so that we can plan the logistics. Kindly go and register so that you are not left out. The development committee wishes to remind all Christians to pass the development desk or tent and register for the blue or green cards. For those who do not have and those who have kindly pass, we have so many lying there that have not been collected for the past year. The LPC and liturgy meeting will be held on the 21st of April, which, will, which was to be held on 21st of April, has been moved to Sunday, 28th April 2024 at Moja 1 after Mass 9 a.m. The PPC meeting, which was scheduled on 28th April 2024, has been moved to Sunday 7 5, 2024 at Moja 1 after 9 a.m. Mass. The main Harambe, sorry, Mass times for St. Teresa of Calcutta and St. Veronica churches will remain as usual. There will be no parking in the church compound on the Sunday 21st because of the Harambe and Father's visitors. We will arrange for parking that will be convenient for you. The Convention of Franciscan Fathers from Subukia will visit the parish on 28th April 2024 to evangelize and promote their magazine, Messenger of Mary Immaculate, alongside all other special sacramentals. Finally, the Metropolitan Hospital will hold a free pediatric orthopedic screening event at the hospital grounds along Rabai Road on 18th to 20th April 2024. For more information, visit our notice board. 
from the catechist desk. There will be a meeting today for parents and registration for, of all children in boarding schools for catechesis during these holidays. Venue Umojawan at 3 p.m. This applies to those in boarding schools who have not started classes. Good. And all the time. Sorry, Mass for next Sunday. First Mass is at 7. Second Mass will be at 10. Kindly keep note of that. Now we come to the second part of our celebrations. I would like to call the candidates who is representing the catechumens to come and give their vote of thanks for this occasion. Kindly. Don't pick my coffee. God is good and all the time. On behalf of all the recipients of the Sacrament of Confirmation today, we would like to express our sincere gratitude to His Lordship, Bishop Emeritus Rodrigo Mejia, for gracing this auspicious Eucharistic celebration. We would also like to thank our Father in Charge, Reverend Father Stephen Omondi, for his support, leadership, and commitment to shepherding us in our spiritual growth. We would also like to thank our teachers, the catechists, Mr. Alois, Mr. Didakus, <laughs> Teacher Beatrice, Teacher Solomon, and Shangazi Alice. For their hard work, dedication, devotion, and sacrifice in preparing us for this sacrament. We'd also like to, we're also grateful to our parents for their encouragement, support during this journey. Lastly, we would also like to thank the entire church leadership under uh, Mr. Paul Mutuku. <clears throat> and the parish LPC for supporting us also. And also to our deacon and uh, the brothers and sisters who has graced this occasion. We we'll would also like to thank the Jumuya on duty. And the Fathers Jumuya for their support also. May God bless you all and thank you once again. Thank you so much. Nikama mefanya kazi yangu, amemaliza kila kitu. Whom do I thank now? God is good and all the time. It is now time for giving gifts. We call upon our models, the CMA, to come and present their gifts to our guests.
Bishop Emeritus Rodrigo. Wanaume simsindikize hii zawadi. Mbona mmesimama huko bana? Nataka kuona jeshi ya wanaume hapa. Kujeni kujeni bwana. Men, see me men, come. So that the bishop can see that Father Steve is protected by men here. See me men, what? Let's come and give our gifts. God is, God is good and all the time. Good family. Good family. Good church. Uh, on behalf of our patron, who is our father in charge, and also on behalf of our moderator who is not here, and through the vice moderator who has requested me to talk on behalf of the men, we really want to appreciate uh, Bishop Emeritus Rodrigo for your for gracing this occasion and for really blessing uh, our families through our kids and even the rest of our brothers and sisters who have received the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Usually, we normally give live goats. But when we went to the market, Ramadan came, it washed <laughs> all the goats away. But we have just brought an equivalent of that goat for as a token of appreciation and we hope that you will enjoy it. Uh, uh, our men really appreciate you and Father, we really appreciate you also as our patron. Asante ni sana. Njoroge, kindly hand over the goat to the bishop. Thank you so much, Wanaume, CMA. Next gift is from our CWA ladies in the house. Kindly to Kuje Askofu Asichoke Sana. Sinasiangam Kikuja Nakawimbo, Leo Mechoka. Eh, hey, Eva Bana, yes. Tuwapigie makofi, our ladies. So, God is good, and all the time. I now would like to call our parish priest, Father Stephen, to come and tell us something for today. Wapi tutakula mbuzi. The magazine is going at 200 shillings. Kindly get one for yourself. Thank you. Makofi kwa moderator. God is good. God is good. And all the time. 
So ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kwa njia kipekee kumshukuru baba askofu Rodrigo Mejia inaandikwa Mejia lakini kimexikana unasema Mejia hakuna anga J inakuanga H sasa so want to thank you uh, Lord Bishop for having been available to grace this occasion our bishop was supposed to be with us last year during the opening and the blessing of this church but that time he was tied down and he made a promise that uh, he shall pay by visiting us when we need him and i'm very happy that today he has honored that promise and he is right here with us tumpige makofi tafadhali Bishop Rodrigo Emeritus when I say Emeritus I'm referring to Ethiopia that's where he was bishop last I hope I'm right and uh, he is at Mwangaza in Karen and when I was in Karen we were just not neighbors but even friends and I'm happy that that friendship has continued and I've pulled it now to Umoja uh, parish so asante sana baba skofu I want to really congratulate our newly confirmed I know some of us are wondering why 400 and above because last year we didn't have the sacrament of confirmation because of the opening of the church of this church we are in we didn't have the sacrament of confirmation so those who are seated here are a product of two years uh, accumulated so I hope now you understand it's not that we have too many children but that last year we didn't have the sacrament of confirmation so we are very happy for them and even for those who just got married and are now confirmed i also want to congratulate you even at this point tupigete na makofi this is a very formed class e class ni thomb kabisa baada hii misa uwaulize what is concupiscence watakuambia kwa sababu wanajua si mnajua semeni ndio sasa unaona wanajua god is good so we are congratulate you and our prayer is even after confirmation continue on with the life of faith with the life of christianity and catholicism don't disappear in the masses tuko pamoja tuko pamoja asante sana i also want to congratulate the new christ the king Jumuiya tuwapigie makofi tafadhali We thank you for having heeded the call that all Christians in this parish should be members of any small Christian community and you have chosen to start your own and we are happy for you that today you have become the Christ the King small Christian community Jumuiya ya Kristu Mfalme Asanteni sana kwa hiyo mwito ambao umetikia na tunawalika kwenye mikutano sasa you can be represented and you can participate fully in the life of this church and even in the life of this parish coming september we shall start the new fathers jumuiya so that those who are not yet in jumuiya can also join jumuiya all our services are being given through the jumuiyas so you better be a member of one si ndio so nashukuru sana Number three, ningependa kushukuru walimu najua wameshukrani yao imetoka lakini i want to thank them again preparing all these children and all these adults was not easy let us appreciate them with a clap so thanks again even to the uh, catechists i know now you can rest we have finished easter the baptism first holy communion and now we have finished confirmation you can take a break before you start planning for the parish family day and i'm so happy and proud of you i want to thank everybody who has participated in this mass in one way or another i want to thank let me start from this side with the choir to pigie makofi today i said to myself e choir is poimba wimbo zote wanajua am dai pata nafasi ingine because for all these children you had all the time to sing all the songs you wanted isn't it bila kukatizwa so thank you so much for the good singing tupige makofi tena 
want to thank the CMA men who are standing who have been ushering this mass for helping us keeping order. Tuwapigie makofi tafadhali. I want to thank the PMC children especially for the Thanksgiving uh, song. They really danced very well. Tuwapigie makofi tafadhali. I'm going uh, clockwise. Eh? I want to thank the parents of these candidates for your dedication and working with them and bring them this far. Tuwapigie makofi na hao. I want to thank St. Anne Small Christian Community animating this mass and CWA next to them, the electors, proclaimers, and every other person, even the sponsors. In a special way, I want to thank Capuchin TV. This mass has been live. Everybody in Kenya has been watching this mass. And I was praying God you don't let me down. Sasa. Tuwapigie makofi tafadhali. Capuchin have always been our good friends and even our good uh, sponsors that they were here this month, even right now as I'm speaking, uh, is being watched uh, all over. And all the candidates, you have one advantage that most of us don't have, that you have a free video. You have a free video. And I like the camera, it focused on you during the confirmation uh, sacrament. Meaning even after today, you can watch this mass as many times as you want. Tuko pamoja. Tropiki makofi kapuchin. Kama kuna mtu nimesahau sio kwa kupenda, jipigi makofi mahali ulipo. God is good. The CMA men who are there, can you lift those speakers up, the two that are over there, please? The two CMA men, or three of you, I know you are very strong. Tutaka kushukuru marafiki zetu. Our good friends from Karen have donated to us these two speakers to be used whenever there is a blackout. To begin my coffee. So tuna So wafadhili tuendelee kuombea wafadhili wetu our good benefactors they gave us this free this ones don't need power so walisema anytime kuna shida ya stima you can always use them and our masses continue uninterrupted free imagine just free si tu appreciate na makofi Asante sana thank you So two last things number one is to Next Sunday, as I promised, I'm bringing my friends for the church Harambe here. It's a special Harambe. And I pray that I get your support. Sasa, I pray I get your support. You're also my friends. So I start with my local friends, yeah? Local friends who is you and me, Sindio. So I, I appeal for your support. So that when the other friends come, wapate kwamba tumesimama vizuri, Sindio? Tumesimama vizu? Vizuri. So, so far, from the local friends, I've been able to raise one million shillings. Sasa. If all the Jumuyas in Umojawan give me 10,000, I'll be near 1.5. Simupige makofi vile mtanipatia. So all Jumuyas, 10,000 is the minimum, yeah? You can always exceed, yeah? And then there's another group of friends I'm looking for. You can volunteer to be one who I want to give to give me 500,000. So that by next Sunday, minimum I have is two, two million. So that it can attract another two million. So around the minimum, equal four at the minimum. So that will be very nice. Operation to Punguze. God is good. God is good. Then finally, uh, as your priest, at times I bless you, but also appeal that you also bless me. You ask me to pray for you. I also ask you to pray for me. Tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> so I'm requesting, I'm requesting one Hail Mary from each of you. Will I get? Wherever you shall be. Sindio? 
One hail Mary. And that will be good enough. There is no party, so don't come. Tunatafuta pesa ya harambe. Sawa sawa. Sasa hizi mambo na kukula. Sawa sawa. So please uh, pray for me that God may grant me the strength and the wisdom I need and zeal to serve you for the period that I shall be there. Special greetings from Father Francis and Father Patrick there to attend to the other two churches. We bear with them and they have greet, uh, sent their congratulatory messages uh, to our candidates. Thanks to the sisters and even our brothers. We love you so much. We cherish and uh, always feel blessed by your presence. Even our visiting sister. I saw another one from Assumption. Uh, she's Dimese. There's another one from Assumption. You're most welcome. Feel at home. Feel at Umoja Parish. The parish where unity is our strength. Amen. Kwa hiyo machache sana na utakeni kila mtu kila na heri. Mungu awabariki na tuendelee na moyo wa kuungana pamoja, kupendana, kuvumiliana, sawa sawa, na kusameheana ili kwa wakati wote Ukristo wetu uonekane kwa ushuhuda wa hayo ambayo nimetaja. God is good. God is good. And all the time. Si amesema kwa na birthday. Si mpesa yake isikie kitu kesho. Si ndio? And for that let us sing for him the happy birthday song. Si ndio? Happy to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Father Stephen. Happy birthday to you. Eighteen. Asante ni sana. Just two more communications. All SDP members kindly go for your elections at St. Joseph's Hall and then kindly CWA munisaidie kupeleka matoleo kwa nyumba ya father. Thank you. God bless you and congratulations to all the candidates. God is good. And all the time. Happy Sunday and a happy week ahead. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. God, our Father, complete the work you have begun and keep the gifts of your Holy Spirit active in the hearts of your people. Make all of them ready to live his gospel and eager to do his will. May they never be ashamed to proclaim to all the world Christ crucified, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain forever. Amen. Go in peace, the mass is sainted. CMA members tukutane St. Joseph Hall. CMA members tukutane Social Hall after Mass. Thank you.
Halo, halo, halo. Tafadhali, tafadhali wa Kristo wa Saint Veronica. Wazazi wa Saint Veronica na watoto. Tunaomba mbaki pale kando shortly. Saint Veronica candidates and their parents and tafadhali mbaki kidogo. Saint Veronica songeni hapa mbele naomba tafadhali wale wa Saint Veronica wajongee hapa mbele tafadhali jongeni hapa mbele mkutane na mwalimu Forward ever, backward never. So move ahead. Ahead, ahead. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV. Kitambulisho Katoliki.